In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this error when you launch your Visual Studio. That is, um, the site is not secured with our error when you launch your Visual Studio. Okay, by, by try to launch this application now, uh, I'm going to get that error, this, this error. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this error um, using uh, Windows 10. Okay, to do that, that is it's showing you that uh, the error, the website is not secured. So I need to generate local uh, SSL for this. And by default, once you install Visual Studio, Visual Studio uh, must have created a certificate for you that is, that will last for like four or five years. That is that you can use for your application. I mean for your system. All right. To do that, um, uh, you can go to search button and search for MMC. M M C. Okay, that is um command. I'm going to click yes, and then from here, you know, what you need to do is to uh, add add or remove uh, snap snap in, and here we're going to select uh, certificates and you click add. Then, or you can easily double click or whichever way you want to do it. Then you click my computer and you click next. Then you select local computer and you click finish. So and you click OK. But this will automatically generate the certificate for you. So this is the certificate of the thing that, that has been generated. Your own may not be like this. Um, you could see it separately, like local host cert um, certificate. Just like if I open this um, personal certificate now, you will be able to see this. So this has been created for you. And the expiry date, expiration date is 9, 19, 20, um, 24, and, um, and all that is for IIS. All right, for, for you to solve the, the problem now, you need to copy this local host at SSR, copy it, and open this trusted root certification authorities. To do that, I'm going to select this and right click and paste it here. So once, you, once I paste it, it will automatically be added to this page and um, for you to know if it has been added here we go this is how um, it will be so with this now it has been added to um, this computer and you need to close this page and by clicking save file and save this page and save it as console one can replace one uh, i already have and i'm going to close it down save it yeah all right let's go back to visual studio and launch the, launch the application. I'm going to launch my Visual Studio now. And I should be able to see that this error should be able to go away when I launch my Visual Studio. Excellent. So I now have it installed, um, as I said, installed on my Visual Studio, which is pretty cool. Thank you for watching.